Nintendo Switch has games. Everybody knows this. Something that it also has, that I feel goes underappreciated, is strong women. And I don't mean strong in a literary sense, but strong in a physical sense. Women with big muscles. Everybody that knows me knows that I love muscly women, so I, for one, am glad that the Nintendo Switch is there for me. Today at Girls A Very Gay, I would like to go over a non-exhaustive list of some great beefcakes that can be found on the Nintendo Switch. Obviously, we have to start with Nintendo's signature beefcake, Samus Aran. She's everybody's favorite absolutely gigantic woman, and she has so many games on Switch. There's Metroid Dread and Metroid Prime Remastered, but with NSO you can also play the original Metroid, Metroid 2, Super Metroid, and Metroid Fusion. So many games where you can thirst after the big lady you're playing as. Games that I've yet to play myself. Oops, I'll get around to them eventually. I have to, for Samus' sake. But Samus isn't the only first party beefcake on Switch. Oh no, the Zelda series has also given us a new big beefy lady, Urbosa. There's a common fan theory that the late Queen of Hyrule may have had something of a fling with Urbosa, and I get it. Yeah, I totally get it. Can't blame her. Who wouldn't want to give Urbosa a big old smooch? Another example of a first party beefcake on Switch is in ARMS. Now, unfortunately, most ARMS characters don't have regular ARMS, so there's not much in terms of muscly ARMS to enjoy, but Twintel, in particular, has some nice ARMS. The ARMS she fights with a part of her hair, which lets her regular arms be nice and muscly. Get out of here, Min Min! We don't want any noodly arms around here! Twin tells where it's at. Fire Emblem games on Switch also have their fair share of strong women, but if you ask me, they really need to consider adding Dagger and Knot from Fire Emblem Heroes to engage, because... Wow. The console Fire Emblem games really have some catching up to do, because Fire Emblem Heroes... Yeah, they get it. And of course, we also have to talk about Pokemon. In Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, there's just so many buff women all over the place. They're everywhere. So many background characters all over the entire region are very buff women. I want to live in Paldea. Paldea is like heaven on earth. Also, shout out to Dendra. She's not as buff as m many of the other characters, but I like her. I would also like to give a brief shout out to Sheila from Shining Force 2. She's not exactly a beefcake, but she's nice and bustly. She has some great legs and is able to kick way above her own head. What's not to love? The moment I met her while she was skinny dipping under a waterfall, I knew that I liked her. As she said herself, she's made her body into a weapon, and what a nice weapon it is. To end off this video though, I have to give a shout out to River City Girls 2. Much like Pokemon, there's just a lot of buff ladies in this game. A lot of the random characters that you fight and recruit are very big ladies. And then of course there's also Marion Kelly. Formerly the damsel in distress in many Double Dragon games, Marion's backstory in River City Girls 2 is that she eventually grew fed up with getting kidnapped all the time, so she just worked out until she was big and beefy and saved herself, and then people stopped being able to kidnap her. Even the game itself openly acknowledges her legendary abs multiple times. Frankly, I think Nintendo needs to take some inspiration from this game. Imagine if we had a game where Princess Peach or Princess Zelda looked like Marion, and they just saved themselves after they got kidnapped. Or maybe we could say that the reason why Princess Daisy hasn't been in mainline Mario games is because she's just been working out, and she's strong enough to save herself without Mario's help. Anyways, Nintendo Switch has beefcakes, and yet, Nintendo doesn't capitalize on that enough. They don't realize how many sales they could get by properly advertising how beefy the women are in their games. I expect an entire Direct dedicated to them someday, Nintendo. Don't fail me. Please.